Jones, the pastor here at First Presbyterian. Welcome to our church and this celebration of life, this funeral service as we gather to remember Miss Blue, a remarkable person, to celebrate her life. She was very much a part of this church and an active, very active leader in this church. And we miss her. We worship God in the next few minutes. Blue's grandchildren and great grandchildren will be reading the Bible. I, I appreciate them assisting me in this service. What a remarkable tribute. They're reading some of Blue's favorite Bible verses. And we're going to sing some of her favorite hymns. And I want you all to sing out, because I know she would want that. There's a reception following the service in our fellowship hall. You go out the front or down the steps outside the narthex, across to the fellowship hall. Please join the family in that reception. And then Anne is having a reception in her house afterwards. If you need the address, ask a family member. You are welcome to that. Psalm 100. Shall I bring glory to the Lord all the earth? Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with prayer. Give thanks to him and pray his name. For the Lord is good and his love is Lord forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. I invite you to stand if you're able and sing together hymn number 649.
Let's pray. Eternal God, we bless you for the great company of all those who kept the faith, finished their race, and who now rest from their labor. We praise you for those dear to us who we name in our hearts before you. Especially we thank you for Blue, whom you've now received into your presence. Help us to believe where we have not seen. Trusting you to lead us through our years. Bring us to at last with all your saints in the joy of your home. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Psalm, Psalm 23 is so special, and I hope we can read it together. This is the familiar King James Version. It's in your bulletin. Let's say this together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff may comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup and my blood. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. What a wonderful promise. <laughs> In the tunnels of men that are being called, but I do not have blood, and I am only a resounding gong of clay and temple. If I have the gift of prophecy, it can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains, but I do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all, I possess to the poor, and give over my body to hardship. I may boast that I do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, it always trusts, always hopes, and always persevers. Love never fails. But where, are, where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in all part, and we prophecy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. Thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I took away the childhood. For now we see only a reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall be no boy, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of all these is love. <laughs>
Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, all you families of nations, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of his holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is firmly established. It cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea redound, and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant, and everything in them. Let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Let all creation rejoice before the Lord, for he comes, he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in his righteousness, and the people in his wickedness. Romans 12, 1 through 21. <coughs> Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, you of God's mercy, mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by that grace given to me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather, Think of yourself with sober judgment, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body and many members, and these members do not have all the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts, according to the grace given to each of us. If your, if your gift is prophesying, then prophecy, in accordance with your faith. If it is certain, if it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is to give, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone with evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is, if he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will keep burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Meaning, how about the gators? <laughs> I have some memories to share. Memories that family shared with uh, Ann and Alice, and they have said to me. And the first memory is from Matt. While there are thousands of memories with Mimi and Papa, the one that she and I always shared and is beloved and reflected on was each June. For the past 30 years, we thought about our trip to Omaha for the 1991 College World Series. I can still vividly remember the three days we spent in baseball heaven dodging tornadoes, 
100 degree heat, and most importantly, watching our beloved Florida Gators upset and send home the number one Seminole. <laughs> Molly wrote, she remembered baking cookies at Christmas and back to school shopping at Lanners and Tri-Delta sorority initiation. Margaret wrote that she remembers feeding Chauncey, the neighbor's dog, through the fence running out to greet them when they came to visit, and waving goodbye until they were out of sight. Weaving Papa into every story she told, muting the TV when Papa was asleep. Molly, uh, Margaret also remembers her big record player and her win-loss list for gay, I guess it's W.L. Lindloss, for the Gator basketball games by her chair. And she also remembers that Blue was the world's slowest driver. <laughs> Jack remembers her chocolate chip cookies. Hitting a tennis ball with a baseball bat and almost breaking the sliding glass door. The next year for Christmas, she gave him a wiffle ball and a big wink. <laughs> Jack also remembers going to the pet store. Alice and Anne, her daughters, put together this short list. They remember playing the piano, singing. They remembered that Blue always smiled even to the end. Sitting and sleeping in her big blue chair, being a patient and wonderful nurse to dad, loving Gator sports. They also remember summers in New Smyrna Beach, Crystal River, and Avon Park. What wonderful memories for a remarkable and special person who I just barely got to know, but I'm so glad I did. And so much of this rings true because she didn't want to talk about me, she wanted to talk about her husband and Gator baseball, and Gator football. I guess when Cosmo played for us, I could have asked her to play the fight song, or well, what are y'all saying at the fourth quarter? <laughs> Maybe we should have done that. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for life well lived, for lives touched, and ideas and love for you that continue in children, grandchildren, great grandchildren nieces and nephews and greats and cousins and others that go on and on. Blue touched so many lives, and we are grateful that she touched ours. We're grateful for her leadership at First Presbyterian Church, the Sunday school teacher, Bible school coordinator, circle leader, president of the women of the church. Lord, she did so much here. Because she loved you. She loved your church. There are so many in her family that were touched by her and her service here. Lord, we also recognize the blue love attending sporting events. She loved cheering for the Gators, the Bucks, and the high school teams. Go on with Fred Super Bowls and World Series games. Lord, indeed, they had lives well lived. Help us, O oh Lord, to live our lives so fully, serving you and serving your church and seeking out gusto and celebration and 
support in all that we do, using our bodies and our minds, and cheering for one another. Lord, I am grateful in so many ways. We know that you touch us, you help us when we grieve, and I pray for each one here who is loving and grieving. Help, help us. Help especially family members who have a deep, a deep wound in their hearts. But we know where this wound is. For she is with you, O Lord. That we celebrate as we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I invite you to stand for another hymn, you know, number 625. I'll break that off. Six hundred.
benediction. I let the family follow me out and we'll go to the fellowship hall. You all may want to sit and rest and then follow us to the fellowship hall and come and share some stories as well as punch and food and other things. What a life we celebrate today. A gift of God to us. Go and be like blue. Go and be blessed. In the name of the Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.